what is up y'all what is up i'm back i'm back i'm back okay I know what this is this is my layering video with the new fall scents from bath and body works if you're interested in long juicy videos about smelling good feeling good looking good hauls spending money all that then please make sure you are subscribed please click the link below so y'all how have y'all been feeling because if you guys read my community post yesterday you will see i have just been all out of whack i literally completely dropped and shattered one of the bottles of perfume that I was going to talk about in this video. So I was just, this whole week, I've just been scatterbrained. I have been dropping things. I have been forgetting things. I've been emotional. I've been moody. I've been anxious. Literally all of those things, y'all. So if you can relate, if you are feeling the same way, definitely leave me some love in the comments. Let me know how y'all are feeling. Let's talk about it. These scent combos made me feel so much better in a whirlwind of all of the emotions that I have been feeling with all that's going on in the world, in my life. And these scent combos really uplifted me and gave me all the fall vibes and made me super, super excited to get into fall, y'all. So without further ado, let's get into the scent. So if you are interested in seeing combos with like Pinkberry Clouds, um, Wicked Vanilla Woods and all those, I have already done a video for that. So I will link it up here. You can open it in another tab and watch that after this if you haven't seen it. But there are three scents that I did not include in this video that I talked about in my last fall haul those are going to be cozy season sweater weather and warm vanilla sugar if you guys watched me rating those scents then you will know why cozy season i did like that one but i i mentioned in my last video about it that i just didn't feel like i was going to reach for it um it was a little too unisex in a way that i was just kind of bored by it so that was my thing. It smelled good, but I just didn't feel that I personally was going to reach for it. I didn't need it, so I took it back to the store. Sweater weather, y'all know I did not like at all. And warm vanilla sugar, she's still struggling bad. So she went back. But these scents that I have here, these are the seven that I loved the most, that I ranked the highest in that video. So I have some great bomb affordable cheapies as well as some nicer perfumes to mix and match with all of those and yes y'all i'm so excited i had so much fun creating and wearing these combos and getting compliments without further ado guys let's get into it okay y'all so the first scent we are going to talk about here is pink suede if you guys follow me on instagram you will see that i paired this with um c fiori from giorgio armani and I love that combo. That was a great combo, but I wanted to create something new for this particular video. So while that one was great, I decided to pair Miss Pink Suede with Burberry Her EDT. So this is the, I know it doesn't look like I've used a lot, but y'all, this is the 100 ml bottle. So I have put a nice little chunk in this since I've had it. I really just wanted to pair Pink Suede with something that was gonna bring out more of those berries because like I told you guys in my video talking about Pink Suede, I felt like it was a little, you know, kid-like. It reminded me a lot of Pink Chiffon, but a more mature version of Pink Chiffon. And I kind of wanted to play up those berries a little bit. I wanted to add kind of a wow factor to it to make it really just knock it out of the park. And girl, these two together very much give me green Jolly Rancher vibes. Like this is literally a bottle of fruit. If you are one of those people that likes Chanel, Chance, Otandra, and things of that nature, you will love this. I definitely think that it smells I don't want to say completely different from the original, but to me, the original, like it had like that ozonic and broxton type of vibe. It's been so heavily compared to Baccarat Rouge 540. And to me, it it was fine. It was okay. But it was just, it didn't have enough of the fruits coming through for me. I don't know. It was just something about it. And then there was like a sour cherry note in the top that reminded me a lot of the sour cherry that was in uh, Carolina Herrera's Very Good Girl Glam, which I took that back. I did not like it, but this is just so smooth. It's just so juicy. And for whatever reason, when these two are combined together, it literally gives just a very juicy, fruity burst. It's candy-ish, it's playful. Like, it's literally a perfect fall fruity scent because I know sometimes fruity scents can lean a little bit summery or a little bit more of a springtime scent but these two together girl it literally gives me just appley 
green jolly rancher goodness i didn't even tell you all the notes and everything so the notes in pink suede are blush berries velvet peonies and sweet cotton then the notes that are in burberry her edt um we have top notes of pear strawberry black currant pink pepper and then middle notes of peony honeysuckle lily of the valley rose base notes of musk and cedar so i have no idea y'all how whatever reason all of those fruits came across as like an apple scent to me but for whatever reason when I mix pink suede with Burberry Her EDT it literally gives me a green juicy jolly rancher mouth full of candy type of scent and I loved it. I got so many compliments on that combo. I actually am wearing it today and it's just so good. You could probably get the same effect with the EDP I don't know but the EDT worked better for me. The pink pepper that is in Burberry Her does something to elevate pink suede. You know, that pink pepper mixed with those fruits that is in um, Burberry Her EDT, it really gives this fragrance an expensive quality to it, but also like a playfulness. It gives it that fruity juiciness and I just love that combo. So yes, definitely recommend Pink Suede with Burberry Her EDT. Second combo that I decided to do with Pink Suede is Nui by Zara. I don't know if it's Nui or Nui. It's kind of hard to get this one to focus because it's a dark, sexy bottle. It matches my nails. I just love this bottle, y'all. Like black and neutral brown bottles, sign me up, okay? But this, I feel like it's kind of a slept on Zara scent. I don't know, in my opinion, I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but I personally love this one. If you love fruity powdery scents this is definitely the scent for you so quick thing with this one the notes for zara's Nuit on fragrantica says that it has raspberry or strawberry in it i believe but on zara's website it says that it's peach the description of it on zara's website is warm and comforting and potent this hypnotic fragrance opens with fruity bergamot and peach followed by an elegant bouquet of iris and lily of the valley the floral and fruity notes are imbued with a woody musky base an unforgettable trail of rich warm amber and vanilla notes so y'all if that didn't make you want to get up and buy it i don't know what will it definitely opens up with that super super bright zesty bergamot note and almost immediately you start getting that sweet peach but what happens with this scent is it turns super super powdery really quick from that iris which i've noticed y'all iris is just a super powdery floral that i usually really really like so if you like sweet powdery scent this is definitely a combo you should try something about the powderiness of this one that elevates the plainness of this one these just work really really well together and i would say maybe the burberry her edt combo with this would be daytime and then this combo with zara nuit would obviously be nighttime um even this is even a part of zara's dress timeline which all the bottles are like dark and sexy so yes definitely recommend 100 this combo for sure hey y'all so while i won't say i'm going from worst to best because i love all these combos i am saving like my favorite favorites for the end so the next scent we are going to talk about is golden hour coast i basically told you guys that golden hour coast i felt like i really couldn't smell much from it like i loved the scent itself but it was very faint i wanted more of that juicy pear note to come through so when i went into my fragrance collection i was like okay what are some really good pear scents that i like that i can pair with this pear scents to pair haha so that's what i focused on with this particular scent and the combos that i came up with fire girl fire okay let's talk about it here's miss golden hour coast in all her glory honey the notes are sunkissed bergamot golden pear and radiant wood so like i told you guys i love this scent but i really really wanted some more of that pear to come through so i decided to pair it <laughs> i decided to pair the pear with girl coach sunset dreams honey so it's not focusing but yes yeah, so there are a few different flankers of the coach sunset line but this is the only one that i have as you guys can see i have a cute little dent in here but i really don't wear it as much as i should and this is literally the first scent that i thought of when i smelled this and i was like what kind of pear scent so from what i can remember just off the top of my head i know that it had like an opening note of um like pear ice cream bergamot and then there was like jasmine magnolia and um vanilla and tonka bean in the base so honestly you guys i never really could smell pear ice cream necessarily like there was nothing really lactonic about this to me um and it was more of just a super sweet 
fresh, pretty girl scent. Like that is what I thought of. That is what it, that is how it made me feel. And this is definitely a scent that by itself, it will get you compliments. Like literally the longevity is amazing. This is a great perfume. This perfume has been compared to Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, the original Good Girl. And honestly, I would have to respectfully disagree. I feel like Good Girl has like cocoa and, you know, almond. And there's just a lot of more deep, sultry, dark, you know, features in the original Good Girl as opposed to this, where I feel like this is more of a pretty, fresh type of scent um so yes i'm not really sure i mean i guess they kind of have similar vibes like if you like good girl and you want something a little bit more sweet and docile you could definitely try this one because they do smell similar but i would definitely not say that they're like dupes of each other or anything so yeah also if you like valentino donna born in roma you would definitely like this as well um it's just got kind of that same pretty girl type of vibe so yes it does not smell like pear ice cream so <laughs> i don't know for to me personally i did not smell pear ice cream but the scent itself is amazing when you pair it with golden hour coast it just gives like the most fresh juicy burst of pear like oh my god like for whatever reason it just brings out the pear in both no in both scents for me and it's just very much a refreshing type of vibe like I feel like a lot of times with fall scents we kind of want to balance like you know woodiness and sweet and and fruity and fresh like you want to balance all of those because we're it's really just like a transitional period so that's why I kind of wanted something a little fresh that wasn't going to completely weigh me down. And the Coach Sunset Dreams, that is literally a perfect, it's a perfect easy reach. It's something that would not offend anyone. You will get compliments on it. And I feel like combined with the Golden Hour Sunset, it really makes the pear shine. And you really get that pear coming through, creating just a really, really nice, juicy, juicy burst of fresh like like a like a Bartlett pear like if you bite into like a Bartlett pear like that's the vibe that it gives me and then like the magnolia and the coach sunset dreams it really comes through and gives it kind of like a green quality not that like funky green quality that Marc Jacobs Daisy ever so fresh the green notes in there just came across so funky to me and I did not like it but the coach sunset dreams has a very green quality about it as well, but it's a sweet green quality. It's just very, very delicious, delectable. It's like a very pretty mouth-watering scent. So definitely recommend these two together. And look, y'all, it literally, they look like they are meant to go together. Like, look at the packaging. Like, they both have that gradient, like, sunset effect. That's so cute. So, yeah. The next combo that I decided to do with Golden Hour Sunset is a more recent pickup. I literally just talked about this in my Diamond, on my Ulta Diamond Day haul, and I have fallen in love with it. It is the Ellis Brooklyn Suite. Now, if you guys follow my community post, you will see Ellis Brooklyn release another scent called Vanilla Milk, and I cannot wait till that comes out, y'all. Like, oh my God, like I'm so thirsty waiting for it in the mail right now. I cannot wait because. I, I just feel like it's going to be the bomb. I feel like it's going to be the bomb. I feel like it's going to layer great with this. But anyways, I decided to pair this with Golden Hour Coast because I wanted a little bit more of a gourmand type of pear scent. And I feel like the Sunset Dreams, while it was very good, really fresh, very fruity, and just really, really nice, I wanted something that was a little bit more rich, a little bit more of a like sexy, sweet gourmand type of quality and that is this when i smell this i literally get pear and marshmallow and amber there's a little bit of a powdery quality to it oh my god this smells so good by itself now hear me out because i got kind of a triple threat combo with this when you pair it with golden hour coast right this gives this that woody quality that it needs to kind of be a little sexy a little mysterious and not just be overly overly sweet but together, they still give you that gourmand, pear, fluffy, rich, sexy, sweet type of vibe. Like, this is more of, like, a baked pear. Like, I wouldn't say caramelized pear because there isn't that kind of vibe going on with it. But this is definitely very much a baked pear. You've got, like, some spices on it. Whereas the combo with the Coach Sunset Dreams was more of a fresh pear, outdoorsy types of vibes. But this, y'all, these two together... Plus, the Ariana Grande God is a Woman Perfume Oil. I recently just picked this up from Ulta and I decided to use this as my base for these two. Y'all, listen, all I have to say, 
pick this up, use this as your base layer for these, layer these two on top or even or even the coach sunset dreams you can use this as a base because this is another pear scent that i actually mentioned in my last video about this that you could layer with this y'all this combo don't say i didn't warn you girl do not say i didn't warn you literally you're gonna not you're not gonna be able to take two steps without somebody giving you a compliment like you're gonna smell so good so juicy so just like Girl, just try it, just try it. Because I don't know if y'all can feel my excitement through the screen, but baby, listen, this is a triple threat. The coach dreams with it is a triple threat. Like y'all need it, okay? Okay y'all, so for the next scent, this one's actually kind of exciting for me because two or three of these I actually paired with Fine Fragrance Smith. So if you want something super, super affordable that smells amazing as a combo, I do have some fine fragrance mist combos in here as well. And Sunrise Woods is going to be one of them. So the Sunrise Woods notes are creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. If you guys remember, I told you guys that I felt that the candle version of this was a lot deeper. The woods came through a lot more and it was just overall a lot more rich than the fine fragrance mist. And while I like the fine fragrance mist, I really wanted the scent to be a little bit more permeating. So I was like, what can I pair with this that has berries that will add some sexiness to this? And of course, I thought of no other than whipped berry meringue. So as you guys can see, I have put a pretty good size dent in whipped berry meringue considering I just picked this up during SAS from this year. So the notes from whipped berry meringue are fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. Whisk yourself away to a Parisian cafe and enjoy the delicate treats and bubbly drinks. Y'all, this combo together, honey, 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 rich, fluffy, just edible vibes from the whipped berry meringue combined with the woods and the berries in Sunrise Woods. It creates something so magical where it's like it's gourmand, but it's still has a slight element of like woodsiness to it so it just makes it sexier it makes it sultry and it's just so freaking good y'all this combo right here is definitely one that is going to leave a little scent trail a little scent bubble your scent is going to stick around like these two together you guys are just bomb it smells like woody berries candy like i don't know it's one of those ones that is a hard it's a hard combo to describe but it just smells so good and so euphoric you're literally smelling it and you're like oh my god this literally smells amazing there's an element of 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 airiness to it from the whipped cream and whipped berry meringue but then there's the woods that's kind of anchoring it down from sunrise woods y'all this is just good just try it just try it okay okay y'all this next sunrise woods combo I really don't think y'all are ready for it, y'all. So this perfume that I'm about to talk about is literally the most perfect fall perfume. Like it is just so good. This has sweet berries, cozy cashmere, and creamy sandalwood. So I really wanted something that focused on those berries, but also took it in more of a gourmand direction. I was like, I want something sexy, girl. I want something sexy on gourmand. So girl, I decided to pair her with Yes I Am by Cacharel. So girl, this is the original Yes I Am. There is Yes I Am Glorious. There is Yes I Am Delicious. Yes I Am Pink First. So all of those y'all are literally amazing, but this is probably the one that I reach for the most. So if you are looking for the full 100 ml bottle like this, um, I got this in like a gift set from Nordstrom Rack back in holiday. So I don't know, like I told you guys before, Nordstrom Rack is really good about selling gift sets like really, really cheap. So I got this back then, but you can probably still get this on FragranceNet. So I will like link it below. The notes in Yes I Am, uh, top notes, raspberry, mandarin orange, lemon, bergamot, middle notes of gardenia, ginger flower, amber, jasmine, rose, and orange blossom. And base notes, y'all, base notes of milk, caramel, vanilla, cardamom, licorice, coumarin, benzoin, sandalwood, and amberwood. Y'all, literally, while I do get the raspberries in here, I do get that bright, zesty, citrusy, fruity burst in the opening of this, but I almost immediately start getting that amber. I almost immediately start getting that orange flower, that orange blossom that's kind of that same vibe as like um, Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, like that same orange blossom that's in there. It's super, super sweet scent but y'all when this dries down it's super milky super creamy super caramelly like 
dolce de leche type of vibes mixed with those berries i feel like you never really lose the berries in here like even when it dries down to that like milky sweet like tonic type of dry down you still get the berries in here so it's almost like berries and cream berries and whipped cream like it is just so amazing in the amber wood in here it still gives it that sexiness the florals in here still gives it that sexiness that it needs to really last and really just stand out so when you pair this together the fact that sunrise woods already has woods in it and it has berries it literally just creates a sexy euphoric type of scent this is definitely a nighttime scent definitely a going out like you're trying to impress somebody you've got a black dress on you've got a red lip on literally like it's a red lip but no this combo is literally amazing so i personally would recommend doing if you do have the sunrise with body wash do the body wash do the body cream do you know the body lotion do a nice oil i would do maybe like an amber scented type of fragrance oil and top it off with both of these y'all and the key with this i feel like you need to apply both of these when it's still wet like every now and then when i do layering i'll layer and do the perfume first since it's stronger and then let it dry down and then top it off with the fine fragrance mist but i do feel like with this particular one it works the best if you spray both of them while they're still wet so yeah that is sunrise woods and yes i am by cacharelle okay y'all so this next combo honestly is probably one of my favorites from this entire entire list i would probably put this at like number two or three but two of these are like literally knocking it out of the park but this is probably my number three favorite and y'all it's number one one of the most long lasting of all of them and overall like i said just one of the sweetest sexiest combos and it's with fine fragrance mist so it's one of the most affordable combos of this whole video y'all that is autumn drive and into the night girl these two together listen like i told you guys with autumn drive i really wanted to focus on this whole line i just felt like it wasn't as concentrated and loud as i wanted it to be and i did feel like autumn drive was probably the strongest and the longest lasting of the three of golden hour coast and sunrise woods but i did still feel that this one was lacking a little bit as far as longevity and as far as um overall like projection so i was like i want something that is going to bring out those raspberries and really just make this sweet and make this a lot more long lasting girl Y'all already know, Into the Night is probably one of the top five longest lasting fine fragrance mists from Bath & Body Works. It is one of the most long lasting. It is one of the strongest. And literally the fact that it has patchouli in it, that lets you know it is a long lasting beast mode fine fragrance mist that performs just like a perfume. So that literally gave this scent exactly what it needed. It turned Autumn Drive into a sexy raspberry piece of candy, y'all. Like literally, I sprayed it in the top. <sighs> literally, y'all. I sprayed this scent combo in this top yesterday and I literally can still smell it. Oh, it is so good. And this is another one of those combos that you, um, to get the best, you know, combination with it, you do need to apply both of them together, like while they're still wet on your body, like, or on your clothes, whatever go in with one and immediately go in with the other one or go in at the same time girl if you could spray at the same time girl do that but y'all this comp it's just chef's kiss that's all i can say like literally it is just a sexy raspberry scent it gives me like the same vibes as like YSL Mon Paris, but y'all know I do not like that perfume. The, the patchouli in that perfume gives old lady to me. And this is the combo that I wanted YSL Mon Paris to give. It's got the sweetness and the projection and the longevity with the patchouli that I like, that it doesn't come across screechy. It doesn't come across you know mature it literally just comes across sexy and smooth and just oh my god y'all y'all have got to try these two together literally just thank me later girl thank me later yes girl if you are like me and you do not like ysl mon paris and you don't get the hype over it but you still want something that smells like it but it actually smells good girl into the night with autumn drive 
that's it. That's the one. That's the combo. Okay. This is one of those scents that you need a travel size and you need a full size. Okay. So this is my little travel size that I take with me in my purse when I am wearing this because let's be real. Everybody knows this scent is that girl. This scent, I feel like it just cannot be disliked. There are, I mean, if you don't like sweet fragrances, this is probably not a scent for you, but I feel like overall, this is a mass crowd pleasing scent. Like nobody can dislike the scent in my opinion. Oh. Sorry, I just jumped into talking about the perfume. I didn't even do the combo. So yes, Valentino Donna, born in Roma with Autumn Drive Girl. If you are not familiar with Valentino Donna, born in Roma, which I feel like everybody is. I feel like I don't even need to go into detail about it. But the top notes are black currant, pink pepper, and bergamot. Middle notes of jasmine, jasmine sambac, and jasmine tea. And base notes of bourbon, vanilla, cashmere, and guayac wood, y'all. This is just a scent that every woman has to have in her collection. Like, it's just one of those. It's just one of those. Literally, if you go on TikTok and search this or Instagram, it's probably going to be in a million videos titled Scents Every Woman Should Have. Like, there's literally no... This is just a universal... If you only had to have one perfume, you would need to have this one, okay? So, mixing that with Autumn Drive. The Pink Pepper and Valentino Donna Born in Roma and the Bergamot it kind of tickles your nose a little bit when you spray them, but then it's also got the sweetness and the raspberry in here from Autumn Drive that kind of, I don't want to say it settles it down, but it takes out that sharpness that can sometimes come across when you first spray out Valentino Donna. And it just creates an overall beautiful, pretty, sexy, like the jasmine, the jasmine tea, the amber, like it really comes through and shine. Yes, girl, I don't know. I always felt like Valentino Donna Born in Roma needed an amber note. So the amber and the raspberry that's in Autumn Drive, it literally just gives this perfume what nobody knew that it needed, girl. So yes, I just love these two together. It's just so good. It's just a bomb combo. This is a bomb combo. This is a sexy raspberry, bourbon vanilla just I don't know I can't even this is another one of those combos that's hard to relate to a certain specific thing because it's just such a delicious sexy type of combo so yes definitely recommend Valentino Donna Born in Roma with Autumn Drive okay y'all so first we are going to talk about my girl Ivory Cashmere she actually matches my fits honey hello um I was so pleasantly surprised by how much I love this one you guys like I was not expecting to love it as much as I did and it definitely pleasantly surprised me this is definitely very much a quote-unquote clean girl scent a pretty girl scent the notes in Ivory Cashmere our fresh lakeside air, silver musk, and white amber. I'm pretty sure this was in my top five in my last video. Yeah, it's just super, super pretty. If you guys follow me on Instagram or you saw my last short, you will see I did pair this with Amber Musk by Erin, which I have talked about that perfume in a video as well. So I will link that below and all videos related to items in this video below. But the new combos that I decided to do this with that are just as bomb as the Amber Musk, Y'all, this smells so good. I can't get over how good this smells like. Mm. If you love amber and musk, this is definitely a scent you should try. The first combo that is an affordable combo to go with Ivory Cashmere, darling. Ariana Grande's Cloud 2.0, Cloud Intense, whatever you wanna call it. The combo would probably work just as well with the original cloud and overall y'all i reach for cloud 2.0 and cloud intense way more which is why i have the bigger bottle of it it dries down a lot sweeter on my skin it lasts a lot longer than the original cloud does but y'all whichever one you have you can literally pair either one with it but y'all i really feel like i don't have to talk about cloud 2.0 at all because i feel like it's one of the most hyped scents on TikTok and rightfully so it definitely is a bomb 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 scent this combo out of this world y'all out of this world if you want to know the notes for uh cloud 2.0 the notes are top notes of lavender bergamot and pear middle notes of whipped cream praline coconut vanilla orchid and base notes of ambroxan cashmere and musk and woodsy notes so as you guys can see this does have ambroxan in it as well just like baccarat rouge 540 but for whatever reason the coconut and the praline and everything else that's in here just makes it so sweet and milky on me and it just smells so good. And when you mix it with ivory cashmere, it's so 
bomb adding in that extra layer of musk with the amber with the air note just creates the most ozonic type of just like that's literally the only way i can describe this it's sweet it's powdery it's pretty it's fresh y'all there just are not enough descriptive words to describe this fragrance to you i literally want to let you guys smell this little piece of paper that I sprayed it on. Like, it just smells that amazing. I already have something on today, but I gotta spray this back on because this combo was the bomb. And when I tell y'all, I was getting compliments out the wazoo with this one. Oh my God, y'all, it's so good. It's so good. It's amazing. Oh my God. <sighs> like, I have no idea what made me want to put these two together because there isn't one particular note in either or that I feel like pairs with the other necessarily. But y'all, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was the air note in here and I thought of clouds. I don't know, girl. But this combo together is literally the bomb. And y'all got to try it. If y'all don't try nothing else from this video, try this one, okay? If you love ivory cashmere, girl, try this out. Try this out. Okay. Yeah, so the next ivory cashmere combo is actually what they said that is new to my collection. Um, I actually picked this up for myself when I hit 2K and it was like my gift to myself. And it was literally love at first sniff with this one, okay? So this combo was actually kind of an accident, you guys, because I went into uh, Nordstrom the other day and I was already wearing ivory cashmere just by itself. I hadn't added anything on top of it because I knew I was gonna be like testing some perfumes. And when I sprayed this one on top of it, it literally created the most beautiful combo with it. And I was getting compliments for the rest of the day. Jo Malone's Mimosa and Cardamom in Ivory Cashmere. Girl, first of all, get into the bottles, get into the aesthetics of both of them together. So y'all, Jo Malone's Colognes, right? First of all, they're all unisex. Um, there are only two that I've ever really, really liked. And I can talk about those in a separate video. But this one in particular... I kind of strayed away from it because I was just like, who would want to smell like cardamom and mimosas? Like, I don't know why I was thinking it was going to smell like a sparkling beverage, but <laughs> mimosa is actually a type of flower. It is a yellow floral that is a sweet, powdery, slightly green type of yellow floral. And I did not even know that that was a note that I liked. So that is one of the fun things about fragrances. Literally, like as you discover things and you smell things, you're like, oh my God, I like that note. I like that note. So I would classify mimosa kind of maybe in the same category as like iris or violet where it's like a floral but it's a sweet powdery floral and y'all this right here the top notes i believe are cardamom and then middle notes of mimosa and base notes of tonka bean so it gives it a sweetness y'all this is literally a clean pretty girl scent clean like no extra like the sweetness in here is a touch of sweetness it's a touch of powderiness it's not like a dry powder it's literally like a sweet powdery type of scent and I don't know why but for some reason I love powdery scents going into the fall like I don't know that's just kind of my vibe as you guys can see but powdery musky types of scents I love those going into the fall y'all number one this is a beast mode fragrance okay and not in the way of projection necessarily because I would not say this projects out super super far or beast mode like you will definitely have a decent sized scent bubble with this but if you overspray this, you will give yourself a headache because it can become cloying if you are not careful. So literally that sweetness from the mimosa and then the cardamom, it's spicy, but it's a sweet spicy. Like I would say cardamom is kind of closely related to like nutmeg or like cinnamon where it's like, it's not like a zingy type of spice. It's just a sweet spice to kind of give it like a little you know, a little umph. And then the tonka bean in here anchors this down and just makes it very rich, very pretty, very, you know, delicate, but still has some substance, some depth. And when you pair that with Ivory Cashmere Girl, which she was already a pretty girl scent, it just creates a bomb combo, y'all. The added musk and the added um amber to Ivory Cashmere, it just does something for me, girl. And this combo literally lasted me all day. I was very surprised by how much I like this because I ended up going to the Jo Malone counter for another scent that I thought I was going to like that I ended up not liking at all. And me and the sales associate were just chopping it up. And he, you know, sprayed this one on me. He was like, I think you would like this one. 
because I was kind of telling him my scent preferences and I was like oh my god like this is amazing like and every time I walked past him to go and smell something else he would be like that smells really really good on you and of course he wanted me to buy something but he wasn't trying to like push me in any direction specifically but he just kept commenting on how this good how good this smelled on me so yes girl definitely pick this up if you have this pick it up and pair it with Miss Ivory Cashmere girl also just following up on this one again if you like honey scents like if you like um jimmy choo illicit or um, like tom ford velvet orchid i definitely think this is worth a try as well because even though it doesn't have honey listed as the notes i feel like that mimosa flower kind of has like that honey type of vibe which is another reason why it went so well with ivory cashmere so yeah okay yeah we are down to the final two fine fragrances in their combinations so y'all y'all already know what this what the fine fragrances are but the combos that i picked please so if you guys watched my last video you will know my top two favorite fine fragrance mists from the fall drop were bonfire bash and miss midnight amber glow honey so let's start with bonfire bash so if you guys can recall i literally had no complaints about this scent but i will say if i could say one thing to make this scent better I would have added some sort of fruit note to it. I would have. And so that's kind of what I tried to focus on with these combos. So the first combo that I decided to pair Bonfire Bash with was a new Kaoli Burning Cherry Honey. So I did a brief mini, and when I say mini, I literally mean I took a picture of it and put a few words on the screen of my thoughts about this on um, Instagram. And the first day that I got it, I did post a picture of it on here and basically said it's Tom Ford Lost Cherry to me. And somebody literally chewed me out in the comments and was like, it's not Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And I'm just like, okay, we can smell different things. Like, girl, to me, <laughs> I promise y'all, this is just gonna be a... I don't know why I always have to drop stuff. Wait. The first day that I got this, I literally said, this is a dupe for Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And I still feel that way to a certain extent. Um, I was very disappointed that Kaoli did not do something a little bit more original, a little bit more unique. And if I wanted to have a scent that smelled just like Tom Ford Lost Cherry, I probably would have just worn one of my dupes or something. So there's that. But this does have a lot more smoky, woody background undertones that are making this have a lot better performance and longevity than Tom Ford Lost Cherry does. So while the scents are super similar to me, my personal experience with Kaoli Burning Cherry is it lasted all day on me. It did become a skin scent after about an hour or so, but this lasted all day on me as opposed to Tom Ford Lost Cherry, which did not last 30 minutes on me. So there's that. But as far as the combo, this to me, it literally gives caramelized, like a caramel cherry candy or like those chocolate cherry candies those basically those cherry candies that have like the hard caramel outside on them that's what this smells like to me because i already felt like bonfire bash had that smoky quality to it and it was sweet but i felt like it still needed some sort of fruity note to kind of smooth it out and that's what i feel like kaoli burning cherry did i feel like kaoli burning cherry has those complimentary woody notes to it the notes for kaoli burning cherry are burning cherry raspberry and bergamot for the top notes middle notes of praline heliotrope damask rose jasmine sambac and base notes of palo santo tonka bean guayac wood and brett peru balsam haitian vetiver and patchouli so as you guys can see patchouli palo santo i mean all of those super woody woody notes in the base and the sweetness that's honestly i really feel like you never lose the cherry in here but i will say that if you overspray this one it can kind of give that medicinal quality cherry scents tend to have especially with the smoky vibes in here so while you can overspray this i definitely think mixing it with something sweeter helps it to not come across so medicinal and these two together are literally bomb like this lasted on me all day you guys and it was just the sweet it was just a sweet smoky cherry like it wasn't like overwhelming it wasn't like burnt or cloying or anything it's just these two complemented each other very very well because this added the sweetness that i wanted this to have the fruitiness that i wanted this to have and this added the more gourmand you know sweet 
quality to this that I wanted this to have. So yeah, love this combo. Definitely recommend y'all try it out. Let me know how you like it. Okay, y'all. The next Bonfire Bash combo is with Michael Germain Sugarful and Spice. I literally just talked about this in my pumpkin layering video. So if you're interested on my full in-depth thoughts about this fragrance and where you can find it, definitely check that video out. But y'all, these two combined, literally, this is just another spicy sweet combo. Um, as far as Michael Germain Sugar Full and Spice, there's blood orange in here, there is peony in here, there's ginger, there's pink peppercorn, there's vanilla, there's amber. It literally just comes across as a very sweet candy gumdrop type of smell. It definitely just has those sweet spices mixed in, almost gives me like a pumpkin spice type of vibe. And that mixed with Bonfire Bash, which again is kind of a smoky sweet scent, these two complement each other so well. And it just gives it a sexy orange candy type of vibe. And both of these scents together literally just give me fall vibes. They smell amazing. And I've already told you guys this perfume alone lasts a really long time. But Bonfire Bash is another beast mode fine fragrance mist. So this combo is definitely very much you're going outside, honey, you're going to the haunted house and you walk in the haunted house and the people can't even scare you because you scared them with how good you smell. Like that is what this is giving, honey. This combo is definitely one of my favorites. I'm going to be wearing this down to the ground, honey. And I love this. So if you guys can see, if you guys see this perfume in your Burlington and you like sweet, spicy scents, I definitely recommend you give this one a try. So yeah. Love that, love this combo. These last two combos are for my coffee lovers. They're for my Midnight Amber Glow girls. If you love Midnight Amber Glow, these two combos are for you because I really feel like these scents really complement that coffee note in Midnight Amber Glow. So girl, the first one, let's start with the more affordable option. The first combo that I did with my girl, Midnight Amber Glow Honey, which by the way, the notes are Smooth Amber, Caramel Latte, and Vanilla Bourbon. I already told y'all, y'all saw my reaction. I love this one. But I wanted to give it a little bit of milkiness to kind of give me like latte vibes, right? Because right now, while it is giving me Caramel Latte, there's still a little bit of sharpness to it. There's still a little tiny bit of bitterness to it that you know you see in a lot of coffee scents like YSL Black Opium and um, Replica's Coffee Break. And I just feel like while they smell good, there's still a little bit of bitterness that may be off-putting to some. So I said, what can I do to smooth this out, girl? What can I do to smooth this scent out and just make it perfect 10 out of 10? Girl, Fresh Cream by Philosophy. So I've already told you guys I use this down to the ground. I just repurchased this during Ulta Diamond Day, but I literally use this with so many of my gourmand layering scents. This is literally an easy grab. If you are doing any type of cake, cookie, sweet, milky type of layering combo, whipped cream, any of that, this is gonna be your girl, okay? This is great to use as a base. This is great to top it off. This is great to use in the middle of two fragrances. Like literally this scent, you can go no wrong. You can wear it by itself. You can mix it with anything. It is just amazing. And these two together, honey, First of all, there's milk in here, there's um, sweet notes, there is whipped cream. I wanna say there's like some sort of nutty note in here. Either way, y'all, I have talked to y'all about this before. It literally smells like buttercream icing to me. And these two together, it literally gives you like a caramel latte or like a cappuccino type of vibe where you have that coffee note, but it is smoothed out by the fresh cream. So then you have the milkiness from fresh cream coming in and then the caramel and the amber in here. So it's almost like you're thinking of a cappuccino with caramel drizzle. Y'all, this is literally one of my favorite, favorite combos. This is probably number two for me and it projects, it smells amazing. It's cozy, it's comforting. This can be a bedtime scent. This can be a going out scent. This can be a fresh starting the day scent like this literally you can do with anything and this is an amazing 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 fall combo girl so if you have both of these pick these up you could also probably do this with fresh cream um warm cashmere but i told you guys i feel like the warm cashmere pulls a little masculine on me because of that woody note so I prefer this one um, and I use this one way, 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 way more. So yeah, 
That is Midnight Amber Glow and Fresh Cream by Philosophy. Hey y'all, are y'all ready for my number one combo? Are y'all ready for my number one combo? This is for my coffee lovers, okay? This is for my coffee lovers. If you want this to still have that coffee, sexy, ambery, caramelly goodness, but be complemented by something even more sweet and delicious, girl, if you wanna smell like a coffee cake, if you wanna smell like a caramel coffee cake, pair these, pair this, with Montal's Vanilla Cake. I'm pretty sure this literally has like three or four notes. In. Okay y'all, so the notes in Vanilla Cake by Montal are meringue, milk, Madagascar vanilla, caramel, and almond. So when I got this fragrance, it was very hard for me to wear it only because in the opening, you literally get like, like a little bit of creamy nuttiness, like that almond really comes through, the meringue comes through, but almost immediately, like in the first five minutes, then it starts to turn into this super artificial, I would say it's like Duncan or Pillsbury, like white cake mix. Like I feel like the white cake mix has the most artificial type of smell. And normally I would love that. I would not care. I don't care if it's the artificial cake mix because some days we really, really want that extra sweet factor. But something about this by itself, it has a very sharp, I don't know if it's like, I don't know if they were trying to add in the aluminum foil, honey, for when you putting something on a baking sheet, I don't know. But there is like a very metallic, aluminum, sharp type of note that comes in with that sweetness. So it's very hard for me to enjoy the sweetness of this. So when I wear this, I have to wear it with something else. But girl, when I paired it with this, I don't know what in here. I don't know if it's the caramel or the burnt. Like, I don't know what in Midnight Amber Glow did. But when you pair these two together, literally that metallic type of scent, it almost vanishes. And it just turns into this very sweet, smooth, creamy vanilla caramel coffee cake, girl. It is so good oh my god it's rich it's decadent it's just delicious amazing oh my god i don't even i have no words this is definitely my favorite combo of all of them if you love gourmand sweet cozy warm mouth watering fall type of scents this is definitely a combo you should try and i don't feel like montal's vanilla cake is sold out or anything like i'm pretty sure you can still get it on their website. I know the Sweet Vanilla by Montal is very hard to find because it's always sold out. So you'd probably have to get that one from a reseller. But I just always feel like I want to wear this one more and I don't hear a lot of people talking about this one. And I'm pretty sure it's because of that kind of screechy, sharp, aluminum foil type of note that is in there. But when you mix it with Midnight Amber Glow, girl, you gon' you want me smell like some, okay? Okay, y'all, that is it. This is literally was my favorite layering combo video to date. Hopefully it's not too, too long. Um, I can't really tell you guys what video I have coming next because I myself am not even sure, but I appreciate you guys so much for the love, for the support, for the comments on all my community posts, my shorts, my videos, Instagram, everything, y'all. I appreciate y'all so much, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!